up, Chef Boyer T fam? It's your girl, Tiffany, and I am back today with a new recipe. Stay tuned. What you will need is a head of cauliflower, some butter, some Philadelphia cream cheese, and some shredded cheese. You can use whatever you want. I have some Kobe Jack left, so I'm going to use that. I'm also going to use some shredded cheddar as well. Now, my cauliflower, I need to go ahead and I need to wash it up and I need to cut off all of these little pieces here. Um, and I will be right back. All right, so now that I have cut and washed up my cauliflower, I'm going to finish cutting it into smaller pieces. And then, all right, so once I cut it up, I put it onto a lined foil tray. Um, you can put it on a baking sheet and you want to preheat your oven to 350 and then you're going to cook it for about 25 to 30 minutes depending on your oven. Go ahead and roast this dry. Um, don't put anything on it. And then when you're done, um, you are going to put your sauce on top of it. But while this is baking, we'll go ahead and get our sauce started. So, and then, all right, so you're going to go ahead and add a little bit of butter to your pan to get your roux going here. And then I'm going to let that melt once this melts. And you can use heavy cream if you'd like in it. Um, also, um, a cup of heavy cream, but I'm not using heavy cream. Instead, I'm going to use regular milk. Um, because you can use either or, and I don't have heavy cream on hand, so I'm just going to use the milk, but, um, yeah, you can definitely use the heavy cream. So I'm going to let that butter go ahead and melt in the process. I'm going to go ahead and use a little bit of regular milk and then I'm going to put in my bowl of shredded cheddar and then all right so i'm going to let that go ahead and melt down and then i have my cup of kobe jack that i like to do as well um we're just going to let that all go ahead and melt in and then and then we're going to put in our cream cheese and we're going to let all that melt in Add a little salt, add a little pepper, add a little garlic powder, and then, all right, guys, so you just continue to let this melt up, and look at this. And once your cauliflower is done in the oven, we're going to pour this on top of our cauliflower, put it back in the oven for about 10 minutes, and let it continue to finish baking. And then... All right, once your cauliflower is done, I'm going to go ahead and transfer it into this glass baking dish. And then, all right, and now that it's done, we're just going to pour this cheese sauce all over. Okay, so we're just going to make sure that that's covering all of our cauliflower and then we're going to return it to the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes. If you want to, you can add a little shredded cheese on top to finish it off or not. I decided to add a little shredded cheddar and now we'll bake. All right, guys, here it is. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share. Sharing means caring. Let all your friends and family know what Chef Boyer T is doing. Hope you enjoyed this recipe of our segment of In the Kitchen. Bye.